Kyle Mohan Racing, KMR. We're hanging out in the shop. I'm checking out this e-production motor. We're just wrapping up. And as I turned it over and was thinking about the oil system on a 13B or any rotary for that matter, it's just always one of those topics, oil slosh. If you're doing high-performance high stuff, you've got to maintain oil pressure, and most rotaries have a fairly centralized sump, so if you're not running a dry sump system or some other type of high-performance oil system, um, then one of those things that you can do is add in a slosh plate or baffle plate. And uh, there's a wide varieties out on the market. This happens to be a uh, second generation FC3S based block. So this is your 86 to 91 style uh, baffle plate. And the idea is under hard cornering, hard acceleration, you're limiting the amount of, of oil movement that you can have in the motor. And uh, I'll actually drop this on here. A little bit of a trick. It's usually easier when I'm not one handing it. All right, and you can see how that really stops the oil movement from going in the pan up into the cavities of the block. And really, if you're thinking about what rotaries are, the oil's all in the bottom pan anyways. Um, your dipstick measures basically to what this oil pan line is, give or take a slight amount. So when the oil starts to move up into the block, you're, you're losing the potential volume that's down here in your pickup tube. Um, whether it be fore and aft movement or especially side to side, and usually in OEM cars or OEM oil systems like this, it's side to side movement, particularly right-handed turns um, that I usually see uh, oil movement issues occur, whether it have been in my own testing in the past or uh, in customer cars uh, that are wet sumped like this. So uh, whether it be uh, this particular plate or any of the other plate options out there, it's doing a couple things. The returning oil is spilling down onto this plate, working slightly as a de-aeration anti-foam plate. So you're getting that oil that's coming back into the motor a little more uh, uh, back to its liquid state as it rolls off this plate back down into the pan. And it's also trying to keep that oil that's in the pan for moving upward into the motor um, as the car moves around in G-loading of acceleration and cornering. So, um, you know, I thought it was cool. I was putting this together. I was dropping it on and I was like, wow, this is something I should really talk about in the future. And instead of making it the future, I made it right now. So make sure to follow KMR, ask those questions. This is how we get to these videos that talk about these great rotary items out there. If you aren't familiar with baffle plates, slosh plates, um, it's doing great things for the oil system. It's doing great things for the motor. And if you're driving in performance situations, it's definitely something to consider, especially if you can't afford expensive upgrades like dry sumps or accu sumps or things like that. This is just a good old traditional oil pan baffle plate rotary style. Um, this has been a KMR video. I'm going to brap it on out of here. i got to finish this motor up. People are waiting. It's going in a race car. Maybe we'll even talk about this. But it is a six-port e-production SCCA-based build. And uh, it should be making some good horsepower and out on the tracks fairly soon. So, yeah. Race motors. Brappy style. Oil slosh. Make sure to follow. Comment. Oh, smash that like button. Uh, I got told to say that. Hey, thanks for everybody who really does follow and watch. Um, you know, we appreciate all the likes. We, we're up to like 6,500 subscribers. Keep it going. Um, 
that's what's making me want to do these videos for the Rotary community. Thank you, guys.